process of a cultural change as we are involved, we still have minorities are thinking that in the past things were better. No? But the important thing is what happened on Saturday, in which in a spontaneously way, hundreds of thousands of people went out of their homes in, around the whole country to express that they really believe in what we are doing. Supposedly, or so I have heard, some expect my speech to pave the way for a re fundamental reform of the European architecture, which will satisfy all kinds of alleged or actual British wishes. I'm afraid they are in for a disappointment. Everything was very quiet and peaceful there, but when he was at home, everything seemed to be moving. Cats and dogs and everybody on the move. He was so active and energetic. And he could compel himself to sleep at any time. He went to bed early and he was uh, up early too. And there was no peace for anybody. I don't like this cold weather. What are you brought me this morning? You seem to have a fairish layer of this stuff. This feels like a beer. Oh, well, I'll let you up meet and see, Santa. Daniel, I'll meet you in a walk to the RAC. I'll let you get on. See ya. Well, I'll meet you in a walk to the RAC. I'll let you get on. See ya. The role of uh, English regions in political decision making goes back uh, decades. The most recent example in this sense was the proposal for direct elected regional assemblies put forward by the government in 2002. So, what are regional assemblies? Well, in practice, they are um, a sort of a smaller parliament. They act as a smaller parliament and they get their own powers, some powers, devolved to them by uh, the central government. The only saw them sit down, say them. Give me that pair of gear that belongs to me. For the pair of give me share. No money days after, the young man gave a die belonging together and gave a word to a far country. There he was the die he had. When he had spent all things, a great payment came out of the country and he began to be in one. Well, if you want to use a modern term, it was a hegemonic power. I mean, it was occupying the place in the international order of the United States and has occupied since the end of the Cold War. It was the big power. The British Empire was the biggest in the world. The British Navy was the biggest in the world. Britain was the world's greatest Navy, the greatest, world's, world's greatest trading power. And so the British really, I think, saw themselves as somehow the policemen of the world or, or, or responsible for the world. Now, there was a man who had lost son. The youngest of them did this, Peter. Give me that pair of your gift that belongs to me. So the Peter gave him his share. No money days afterwards, the young man gave up all his belongings together and went away into a poor country. There he wasted all that he had. When he had spent all things, a great famine came out of the country, and he began to be in one. Well, come to see, St. Paul was hauling high from out here in uh, one of them grounds. He saw the land were good, told them were bad. And come up here, well, you see a couple of times be a load of high. When I come back, we we'll molly at a pool to cover it up. Well, he sat down between the policemen were and made her put him back in, sent up Merton at her speed and shoveled it off and drove through. And all the time had made a queer squeak and pissed it and so. And there was an ill vein weird. Afterwards, they find a queer, slimy kind of skin up in the gunnels of the boat, what had had rubbed the land them. The crew tried every trip they could think of to drive the crater away. They bad ballast stains over the side, hoping that the best would follow them down the water. But nah. There was no cinemas in them days. We made our own fun. Everybody had their own fun. Everybody had their own fun. Well, the latter years when I got on, I got the latter years, just pictures then, but for no pictures in my own days, we made our own fun. And we were happy, we were contented, and I tell you, it was the most trust in them days, as it's shown in this now. I think that more than a penny sweets in them days, and you got your sickness now. Because it's all good, but a little bargain, little bargain, y
your frail, boy. Frail, yeah. You've got to keep your frail weak. Because yeah. if you lost that, you ain't got no grub in the rest of the day. What is the frail then? Well, you dinner bag, you frail. Dinner bag. You've got to keep out of that. Yeah. Did you have to wear lodges? No, my father did. Yeah. I'm going to be messed up with yeah. that.